I cannot believe I let my sister drag me to the Stark my- Ugh, Stark, they are an environmental insult. Oh my god, Gabriel, just check me out. Gabriel Luna, international rock star from Britain, my 14-year-old sister's obsession. Um, no, Creed, okay? We're in a long line of people to see him. We're normal people. Yes, he did. I swear he did. Frida, calm your butt. He was looking at Nikki. Um, hi. Hello, do you have a CD for me to sign? Um, yeah. Hold on. Free, free, free us! Please, come in. Sit. We have to talk. <laughs> oh, yes, yes we do. Lucky I got to You have to understand the procedure we performed on you, Immersin, was necessary in order to save your life. I get that. I doubt you go around doing brain transplants on people who don't need it. Although, I don't know how lucky I got to be the first. <sighs> Wait. I was kidding. You mean I'm not the first? Oh my word, no. Not... The youngest, definitely, but not the first. What? On TV it said that none of these brain transplants have been successful yet. None that were publicized, no. None of our recipients want this to become public. Quite the opposite, in fact. Recipients? <laughs> like you've done this a lot? And you need a viable, whole body donor. Viable, whole body donor? You mean Nikki Howard? I can't believe you just called her that. I mean, Nikki, she was a person. It says mom. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Holcomb is aware of that and... What does Stark Enterprises have to do with all this? You're actually under the care of Stark Institute for Neurology and Neurosurgery, a division of Manhattan General Hospital, of which Stark Enterprises is the primary donor. We don't publicize the Institute's existence or its connection with it, of course, because there's still um, some uh, bioethical concerns involved with the procedure. You mean because in order for someone to get a whole body transplant, somebody else has to be declared brain dead so they can snatch their body for recipients to use? Uh, yes, more or less. Emerson, Nikki Howard suffered from a rare congenital it's brain defect body. that no one, not even herself, was aware of. It was an aneurysm, basically a ticking time bomb in her head that could have gone off at any time. But went off the moment the TV fell on you. Both you and her, and you were so gravely injured. Stark Megastore staff had ambulances around just in case because the pr protesters were becoming ridiculous. Quickly enough to keep you and Nikki alive for the transport. But neither of you would have been able to survive, at least not on your own. That's right, by the time we got here, they told us to basically say goodbye to you. Until Dr. Holcomb showed up and we examined you. Then he told us that there might be one way to keep you alive, but that was extremely risky. And 
there would what? And that there'd be likely to be complications. You mean like I'd wake up in somebody else's body? That kind of a complication? Well, it's true. You're not M anymore. Well, on the outside anyway. But you're still on the inside. That's what Dr. Holcomb and his team felt. It was better not to tell you right away. You have been through so much. You just needed time. Time to adjust. You can't do this. This, it, it's sick. Now look here, young lady. What's so sick about it? Honestly, your life and millions of girls would die, literally, to be in your shoes right now. But you didn't have my permission. Ah, but we had your parents' permission. <laughs> this whole body transplant isn't gonna stay a secret. People will notice when Nikki Howard walks into school, but I'm just gonna go around calling myself Emerson Watts. That isn't gonna happen. Why are you, I mean, why are we even discussing this? What are you trying to tell me? Are you really gonna sit there and tell me I'm dead and that Nikki Howard is still alive? Not at all. What I'm telling you, Miss Watts, is that you are Nikki Howard. That you are Nikki Howard. sister's obsession. Oh, God, I'm scared. <laughs> this is so loud. 